Hello and welcome to another macro video. Today we're looking at PDFs and what macros you can use for editing PDFs. It is a question I get asked reasonably often and it was asked recently on Facebook so I thought I'd answer on the in the form of a video. So the question is can you use macros on PDFs? Um, and in a sense uh, the answer is yes and no. Uh, macros don't actually work in PDFs. Macros are in Visual Basic and Visual Basic is only available on Word uh, but macros can work with PDFs. So in other words if you're editing on PDFs you can use macros within Word to help you uh, with the work. So what I'm going to do is to look at my own workflow uh, that I use when I'm editing in uh, PDFs and for me editing uh, with PDFs is books and we're not I'm not really thinking particularly of smaller files although uh, because it's uh, rather overkill some of the things I'm suggesting here uh, but you could use a subset of some of the ideas that uh, I shall present now. Okay so let's get started what does one do? Okay we load uh, a PDF into Word so that, that so the way in which um, PDFs are converted into Word over the last few years has improved and now it's reached a stage where all we need to do is uh, to open uh, and we can actually um, set, click on a PDF and say open and it will convert the PDF into Word format so you've then got a file, a Word file of the original PDF and that's perfectly accessible uh, as a Word file and we can do all sorts of things with it including um, highlighting things to draw to our attention. Uh, so right okay so we can uh, control it to open um, if I just refer to that as the all text file so you know what I'm talking about. Um, what, we can run analysis programs on that all text file um, and that would include probably things like prop and analyze which is uh, quite a, a real favorite for a lot of people uh, hyphen lies, spell lies, doc lies. I mean these are the ones I use uh, and if you've got citations then we use citation lies. and if you want to find out about these there are videos or you can uh, look in my book for more details. Um, on the basis of those analyses I will then prepare uh, my style sheet also obviously looking at the brief that the client provides says he hopefully um, and on the basis of that I will then add highlights to the all text file um, so I'll try and uh, highlight all the errors like spelling errors and so on um, hyphenation errors um, and uh, all the style decisions though uh, if there are things that need changing on the basis of the style decisions then those will be highlighted on the all text file um, and I, for that uh, I use a standard uh, Fredit list um, and also things like the uh, paragraph end checker uh, which finds any paragraph that doesn't have a final uh, punctuation mark and it will just highlight it for you. Um, and uh, the, the Fredit list also has things like highlighting where you've got the, the or you know, any repeated word just to draw it to your attention while you're editing. Um, and I do a lot of science stuff so there are uh, common errors of, of the way science um, information is put, is put so I will highlight that too. Um, okay then I actually start reading and for me that's uh, I, I read on paper and about in the last couple of years about half my paid work has been uh, PDFs and I work on paper because I love to sit in the lounge with my laptop by my side so I'm in a comfy chair uh, in the uh, the bay window lots of light uh, comfortable uh, rather than sitting in front of the desktop computer in my office. Okay so um, I stop every so often as I'm reading and I will compare the highlighted file and uh, with what I've actually done on the PDF what I've marked up on the PDF and the fun is there that I'm um, if I if I get things if I actually find things in the uh, while I'm reading that are highlighted I'm thinking great well, I've got that one 
uh, but obviously uh, some of them I miss so it's um, I mean it is good fun I, I do enjoy it and um, it, it's a sort of competition really can my eyes match the macros can I find what the macros have found um, and I then uh, scan the markup sheets so I'm, I'm marking on paper I mean this is just in case you're interested uh, it's not part of the uh, using PDFs for macros but anyway um, and for that I buy a, a cheap printer that's got a sheet feeder uh, and don't do any printing because that's a, a very cheap way of getting a scanner so that's it I hope that's useful um, if you do have any problems any questions any ideas do get in touch okay thanks for watching bye now